2012 here on HDNet. It is time to announce who is number one. Let me tell you about this young man, only 21 years old. He trained at a team grindhouse and also out of California with Uriah Faber. He fights on the Titan Fighting Championships. He comes into 2012 undefeated at 4 and 0, oh, and none of his opponents have lasted past the first round. Collectively, he's finished them all in under 12 minutes. You know him as Sharkbait, that's right. At number one to watch in 2012, here on HDNet, Titan Fighting Championship Zone, Anthony Sharkbait Gutierrez. <laughs> My word, this place is loud. If Gutierrez pulls out the win here tonight, they will bring Memorial Hall down. Jason Herzog gets us underway. Michael Chabello, Frank Tree with you. And mid Orthodox. And they go to Canvas early. Geez, I think that was smart for Aiken to go and drop his hands like that, try to cast those, those two leg kicks. And it working out, you're getting him on the ground. Foster up. Who slams Aiken onto the lower lumbar region? That's going to leave him out. Tries to lift up again, look at the armbar. And Gutierrez tries to slam it through the canvas. He takes it for a little walk there, Frank. That's a lot of power and strength to spin guy up on the end of your arm. That's from two. training with your Uriah Faber. Gee, what a great back, more back strength, leg strength, a good position to get a guy up like that. So I, see, he can strike this bottom side choke. It doesn't have it in, so it's a lot of energy being wasted. In. So it's not going to choke him by now. submission attempts. Morgan, Ron Jackson from the American Jiu-Jitsu gym in the corner of Jacob Aiken. Side control again, knee on belly here. What a great pass. He's pushed it across and laid, it, laid the legs across. And it's just easy, simple for Anthony. It's all the things that he's going to Dropping the elbows, Gutierrez. Aiken's so the knee on the left corner here. This crowd rallies and is deafening in Kansas City. The three moves in. Gutierrez wins. Let's take a look at the game frame. Nice position. He's got that knee on the belly. He's pressing down with that right knee. He's got to hold his position. Using his right arm to control him and throw that left elbow nice and clean. The only thing he could have done any better in my, in my critique is to lift his, his left knee up a little bit and stick it in his back. That's the only thing he didn't do, and I would have held him in position a little bit tighter. But really, if you're hitting some guy with 15 elbows, you really need to change position at all. Just let him finish, and eventually the rest is going to stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to end at 3 minutes and 28 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO. both undefeated as professionals. Gutierrez had a decorated 25 amateur career week, 17 and 3. He comes into the favorite here tonight, minus 220. Cody Land plus 180. And on fighting.com, Nicole Kissing Time Barky from Cody Land. Color of the Philippines, yellow and black. Gutierrez in the all whites. Cody Land from the tiny town of Brady, Nebraska. So small they have no traffic lights. All clinched up for the first time in this contest. Gutierrez, oh, gets taken down and Land goes to sign control. Nicely done from Land. He fought only two weeks ago. Wow, great position change by Land. He's getting stepped over by Gutierrez. He's, he, he's almost always countered. And hit this hit the right at the very end to get that final super and put on his back. Gutierrez gonna be careful with the armbar here of Cody Land. He subbed Alonso Henderson two weeks ago with an armbar. In fact, he's finished his last three opponents land just inside of the first round, including one wicked up kick from his back. Inside half guard now. BC is going to work on that far arm of Gutierrez. What does Gutierrez do from here, Frank? He needs to get a put to his hip very quickly and get, him, get his body weight onto it. He's sitting up and spending a lot of energy. He needs to start underhook with his right hand and turn his body towards his left side. Get that arm protect a little bit better. We spoke about the first round stoppage prowess of Cody Lamb. So too Gutierrez have finished both of his opponents inside the first round. These two young men don't know how to have a long fight. Gutierrez who spent some time with Uriah Faber, Team Alpha Male, in preparation for this contest. Training out of the Grindhouse, of course, along with tonight's main event, I think James Grass. He land back to his feet. Gutierrez looking for a submission here. Vamarari chewing him on. 
Oh, your man trying to plow through, gets inside the guard with the right hand. Gutierrez controlling the posture, pulling down the back of the neck. Trying to sink the triangle, what looked like? Yeah, it was tight. For half a second, I was a little bit of a scramble. Felt like in a play, footsies for a moment, both men back to their feet now. What a first round! Gutierrez and Lang! Landing at South Coast Stunts. Both young men keeping their gloves up nice and high. Gutierrez has that extensive reach advantage. Nice in front leg, leg kick. Short and from Shark Bait. He caught him! Here comes Shark Bait! Here comes the ground and pound! Listen to this place go bananas! It's good man, Irene! Thank you, Grandma Irene! Your grandson's done it again! Wow, that was amazing. The biggest mistake the man made is to try to stand up with him. He should have back to his wrestling right away. Strike bait is too long and too tough. And he immediately went in. The match kicked for a second, and he pushed him back. He put, strike bait pushed Lamb back about four or five feet. Wait for the How good is this kid, Anthony Gutierrez? You know, last week when Joe Kelly was talking to us, Frank, about the order of the card, we both said, put Shark bait on first fight of the night. The kid always produces. He produces great. I didn't see that from the, from the camera angle I had when I first saw it. He got hit the knee. He put the knee right on the top of Lamb's forehead. He had nowhere to go but straight down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at 2 minutes and 36 seconds of round number one. Your winner, by referee stoppage due to strikes, out of the red corner, Anthony Sharpstein Gutierrez! Michael Chabot, free trick with you! Gutierrez said to us yesterday, this fight will end when I wanted to. Hutchinson says he wants to try and put on a Peruvian neck tie. Easier said than done. Good outside leg kick from Gutierrez. Right hand from Gutierrez up the tree. Inside leg kick from Gutierrez. Flipping front kick off the back leg. High right round. It's home now, it's just the jaw. Jump walking right hand. From Hutchinson. Looks a little unsettled here, this Shane Hutchinson. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's almost like we, we know he's a jitsu guy who wants to get in the ground as quickly as possible. He looks like the kind of guy that really hasn't developed the stand game from the style yet because he's always going to tag a lot more than he should. Great take down. I mean, Shark Bay knows what he's doing, he knows how to handle it. This is the beginning of the end right now. I, I have a feeling that uh, he gets up pretty hard pretty quick and start attacking one of his arms. Sitting up for a good team, perhaps, yeah? Oh, look at Gutierrez! It's good for Irene! Gutierrez has done it again! We can do no wrong, you and I, Anthony! Me commentating and you fighting! One minute and seven, another first round stopping for Sharkbait! I mean, at what point are they going to give him some competition that's actually a competition for him? they got to step it up a little bit here because now he's getting in the realm of, of, of getting too comfortable too early in his career. He's got to get a bigger push. Great dog. Look how deep that is. It's already wrapped through all the way through. He's nice and long, 5'11 for this weight class, 145 pounds. Very tight. Look at the, how tight that head is. He had to step his right leg over the body to finish it off. Hutchinson was done as soon as he rolled over. Great position by Shark Bay. Anthony Gutierrez does it quickly. He came in at minus 500 with the big bookmakers, and rightly so. Beautiful choke. Okay, Greg Gentry put this one into the record books for Shark Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chuck Wolf has called a stop to this contest. One minute and five seconds in the very first round. Your winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke out of the red corner. It took him only one minute and seven seconds to finish Shane Hutchinson. Anthony Sharkbait Gutierrez, a deserving number one on a list of 12 fighters to watch in 2012. And you know, folks, there's a whole lot more because here at HDNet, your home for mixed martial arts, we've got all the great organizations covered from XFC, Bama, Pro Elite, MFC, Titan Fighting Championships, Legacy Fighting Championships, and a whole lot more. It's going to go down here in 2012 on HDNet. I'm Michael Chabello, and thanks for watching.